came to Earth to learn about art. Ziggy's Art Adventure. There is so much I don't know where to start. Ziggy's Art Adventure. Music, acting, painting, dancing. It's all so much fun. Running, playing, and creating. So come on, everyone. We're gonna get out what we have in our hearts. Ziggy's Art Adventure. So hold on tight, cause we're ready to start. Ziggy's Art Adventure. box used to be. Why does it lead in here? What has Jack done now? Oh, it's the UC. The universal communication engine. Jack and I built it to hold all of our devices for communicating. See, the mail comes here now. Hey Zig, I'm gonna go in the junkyard to find bike parts for front yard bikes. You coming? Is that the group that helps kids build their own bikes? Yep. Al says they also teach young humans about business and serving the community. All right, Zig. Good to know you've been listening. There's so many different kinds of junk. Is it all useful? Our thought here at the junkyard is, it's all useful to someone. Everyone has different needs. Does everyone have different needs because everyone is different? Yeah, exactly. Like, someone who needs a car tire isn't going to come in and get a hamster wheel. I've been meeting all these artists who all make different kinds of art. Do they make different arts because they have needs only they could have? Or do they all have one-of-a-kind needs because they make different arts? Well, both. You see, Ziggy, each artist has their own personal wants and needs for expressing themselves. So they choose different art forms and ways of making their own art. We call all those different ways of making art mediums. Wait, like t-shirts or pizza? Small Medium or large? No, not like that. It's not a size or proportion thing. See, in art, medium is the kind of art it is, or the stuff you use to make it. Like, a painter uses paint, or the great jazz musician Louis Armstrong uses his trumpet to make melodies. Or, like, you seem to be using junk to create a new fashion trend today. Medium. What are some art mediums? Man, there are so many to name. Cartoons. Ballet, puppetry. <clears throat> I think I understand. Uh, Ziggy, uh, let me stop you real quick. What are you doing? Oh, playing dress up. I'm royalty. Is it not tea time? Well, River seems to feel pretty strongly that it's not. All right, all right. I've got some questions. Um, one, what does the letter say? And two, is it really as bad as all that? And three, be honest with me here. Do you like my glasses? They're new. The letter's from the city. It says they might be zoning us something called UB40. It means we can't be a junkyard anymore, so yeah, it's bad. But yeah, no, actually, those glasses look great, man. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, but did I go with this shirt? Uh, and why would I want to rezone the junkyard? Well, it says somebody from the community requested the rezoning. Oh, they say they want to make it a shopping center. A shopping center? Well, that's outrageous. The junkyard is the ultimate shopping center. I know. I, I do always say a junkyard is a garden of possibilities. River, we should take and display a load of fabulous junk out on the steps of City Hall. Then they'd see. Now, while that might be a very powerful way to communicate all that we have to offer, I don't think it's the best way to convince city officials. Right, right. Well, maybe a speech then in front of city council. Oh, man, I couldn't do that. I mean, what would I even say? What if I messed up? River, you're the perfect person to do it. 
You spend all day talking on the radio as a DJ. But, look, if you're a little worried about what to say, then just give it a think and write it down. Man, a think, huh? Well, great minds think. Okay, we need to tell them that the junkyard does an important job in the community. Man, we should tell the city council that this junkyard is home to a nine-year-old space alien named Ziggy, who's here to learn about the arts, and its Earth classroom must be protected as a safe learning environment. Man, we can't talk to them about space aliens. We're gonna keep it simple and full of feeling and tell them about the possibilities. I know what I have to say. Where's my typewriter? Mm. Oh, here, let me try, friend. Well, that's exactly what I just did. Oh. Let's write a poem. First, you will need some colors and a blank piece of paper. Now, start by writing down these four phrases. I see, I hear, I feel, and it feels. Great, now let's finish each sentence. What is one thing you see right now? What is one thing you hear right now? How do you feel right now? What color is your feelings? And that's how you write a poem. And just wait. In no time, Front Yard Bikes is going to have all the kids in the neighborhood rolling around on bikes fixing these parts. Any day you get to help people is a good day. Isn't that right, Ziggy? My Royal Majesty is most excited with all the cool stuff I found today. Hi. I'm not sure who I'm supposed to talk to. Someone in Pleasant Valley suggested that uh, you have space available, maybe, that I could have a poetry reading? Oh, welcome, my good lady. I am the Royal Ziggy of this kingdom. Royal Ziggy, your highness. Sir Al of Action will be happy to help you. Thank you. Al, my name's Ava. Hi. I'm sure we can help. I see you've met the Royal Ziggy. So, uh, what do you need for your poetry reading? I need a place where 20 or 30 people can hear me reading, and I want to read some poems from my new book about Louisiana. Oh, uh, what is poetry? Well, poetry is art made of words. You use words as your art tool? I do. Yeah, Zig. It's like writing the words to a song, but there's no music. Yeah, that's a good way to look at it. Music is sound, but just words are also sound. So I use words just like you're talking. And the sound sounds good, and then people listen, and we connect. I get it. Art helps us connect, and you use poetry. It's one of my favorite things art does. It didn't work like that on my planet, but here on Earth, Art helps me connect with other people's feelings, no matter what tool or art the artist uses. Well said, buddy. Now, let's bring Ava inside to get her what she needs for the reading. Great art doesn't just happen. It takes a lot of action to bring arts to the people. Well, Action, I want to be a part of it. I want to help make art happen. Is there some way I can help with your reading? Well, sure. You can introduce me. Is there somewhere we can go sit and we could talk about it? Wonderful! I know my kingdom well. I think that the roof would do best for your reading. The roof it is. I know what I have to say. I'll do it. I'll go and face the city council. I'll speak for the junkyard. I'll speak for us all! Get out, man! Get out, man! Use your freedom of speech to be heard! Yeah! Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Hi, I'm Ziggy, and I'm so excited to be here tonight to introduce a Louisiana Poet Laureate, Ava Level Heyman. Thank you, Ziggy. Thank you for being here. 
The first poem I'm reading is titled, The Child Born. The child born with a call. The child who eats the skin that forms on scalded milk. The child who bites cuticles instead of fingernails. The child who sucks her hair at night. Hey, Grandma. Today I learned what a medium is. It's the name of all the different ways people make art. There are a lot of different tools and ways to make art. Just like everyone is different, everyone makes art in their own way. I met a lady today that makes art out of words, and I got to introduce her on stage to an audience. I felt proud to be a part of making art happen for people. Ugh. I'd like to make some art myself. I wonder what a medium I'll use. Support provided by Louisiana Healthcare Connections. Your health, our purpose.